Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it, guys. Today's beer hopefully is going to be a treat. This is Trillium Brewing. This is their Fort Point Pale Ale, guys. And I have done a couple of Fort Points. One back in 2016 and one back in 2019. But they were not the, the base beer. This is the base beer. This is the fourth point. The one that I reviewed was a dry hop mosaic and a dry hop galaxy versions. Where this one is their straight up base fourth point beer. And it's a pale ale, not an IPA. Coming in at 6.6% on this. And uh, this is... Uh, more or less an intro. If you don't like bitter IPAs, this is not going to have the IBUs that, that the IPA is going to have. It's going to be a, a little easier to, to drink and a little not quite so bitter. And on the bottom we have 011524, January 15th of 24. Super fresh. I can't get beers that brewed five miles down the street that, that fresh. I mean, it's, it's insane. But again, had to run over. The beer showed up at the beer store, I think, on Tuesday, and he posted that they had showed up. And Wednesday, after class, I went and got some. So uh, that's where we're at on this one. I'm hoping this is going to be a real tasty treat. These guys are out of Massachusetts. Uh, it says here our signature American pale ale balances light, crisp malt character with an abundance of hot. Hop derived aromatics and flavors from the use of Citra and Columbus hops. I have brewed with both. Very nice. Uh, the fragrant nose is fresh citrus, tropical fruit, and peach. Both flavors of pineapple and mango mix. Your basic uh, flavors and aromas that you typically get from a well made IPA or a double IPA, guys. So having it in a pale ale is extra special. Uh, says here the bold flavors of pineapple and mango were uh, dank notes of zest, zesty citrus and fresh pine needles with a smooth mouthfeel, gentle bitter, bitterness and dry finish. Fort Point is our standard daily drinker. Pictures here it looks super cloudy, super hazy and I would think this is going to be a New England style pale ale. So not an IPA. Here we go. Not quite as orangey looking as it is in the glass here, but that can be deceiving a lot of times because once you get it in the glass and set it down and take a picture of it, it looks more orangey than it does when you're pouring it. Well, it looks pretty clear. Almost looks like like pineapple juice coming out of the can. Mmm, finger and a half on that. Looks nice. Very cloudy, very hazy, very New England-esque, if you will. And since they're in Massachusetts, it fits the bill perfectly. Good looking beer there. Mm-hmm. To the nose we go. Yes. Super fragrant. I mean, that's just, that citrusy, orange, mango. Little piney, get the pine needles. It smells awesome, guys. That is a very, very awesome smelling pale ale. Now, I wouldn't hesitate. That would probably be a, a 10 on the aroma scale for a pale ale especially. Smells like an IPA, guys. A New England style IPA. Wow. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That is so smooth. 
there's zero bitterness there. It's not tart. I mean, that's just like, I mean, I don't think that could be any smoother to drink. That's easier to drink than orange juice. Wow. Wow. That's delicious, guys, and it's not even two weeks old. Wow. Incredible. Back in. Let's do this foolish swirl. Get that into the glass. And a, a super duper swirly swirl just to make sure. Of course, it's only been in the can two weeks. There's nothing has settled to the bottom that we're going to miss. So I don't see any any floaties or any chunks or anything of that. So not not a lot of sediment in this particular beer as of this stage of the game anyway with two weeks on it. So that may change down the road but I kind of doubt it. Uh, very nice. This is definitely a treat. I'll be right back. Alright guys I'm back. Got a little left here and nice lacing that's left on the rim there. Very tasty beer guys. For a pale ale it drinks like an IPA as far as hoppy not bitter. Super well done. Mm -mm -mm. That is so smooth. So easy drinking. I had orange juice more bitter than this. Well, that's delicious, guys. I don't choke. The aroma for a pale ale is off the chain. Wow. <clears throat> I am so happy that Trillium beers are available in the Roanoke Valley. That is awesome. I didn't think I would have lived to see that day, guys. I, I really didn't. I'm, I am glad that the bigger name brand beers are getting down to this market. And it's, it's a large effort uh, from the guys, Martin and, and uh, his associates uh, at uh, Barrel Chest, from bringing in uh, a lot of these big name beers and making the effort uh, to get these beers to this area so kudos to them and I appreciate it ain't no doubt about it they're pricey uh, I told you guys yesterday I'm gonna try to give you all an idea of what I paid for all these beers as we go along this one was seven dollars and fifty five cents a little, a little expensive but you know you get what you pay for a lot of times as they say so to me guys I mean I did the two previous ones, the, the double dry hop, uh, I think, I don't know if it was double dry hop, it was dry hop versions of the Mosaic and Galaxy, and I, I gave both of them 10s. Uh, there's absolutely no reason why I should not give this a 10 also. For a pale ale, <clears throat> it's undeniably probably the tastiest pale ales I've ever had. Uh, as far as being hoppy and smooth and easy drinking and all the above check 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 so uh, yeah if you can get your hands on probably just about anything from Trillium you're not going to be disappointed and you might get lucky enough to find some, some other stuff to be tins for your palate so uh, they make a, they make a large selection of different kinds of beers just like all breweries do and uh, some of them do them all very well so some of them do the lighter beer better darker beer better so uh, but uh, some of these world-class breweries like Trillium and Treehouse and so many others I butcher and and uh, I could go on and on guys on and on and on and on pariah uh, it's 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 a it's a pleasure so I'm hoping maybe I'll start seeing some pariah beers here uh, since uh, they've got the one in uh, on the East Coast open and, and brewing beers over here now. But anyway, back to this one. Again, 10 to me, jump over to Beer Advocate, and they have it at 99, world class. Uh, that's close enough for me. And over to Untap. They have it at 4.22. That's 
actually borderline to the A minus to the A category, not A to the A plus. So, uh, I think it's better than that. So I agree more with uh, Beer Advocate again on this one as opposed to Untapped. So if you've had the base beer, which this is, the Port Point, not double dry hopped or, or, or dry hopped with anything, just the base beer. Let me know, this is the 2024 edition, it's two weeks old, so uh, brand new for this year. If you've had it, let me know what you think, till we meet again, got a bunch of beers in there. Let's go see what's in the fridge.